Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Garrett and today we are firing up Control on the PlayStation 5. This will have all the additional goodies like ray tracing and the increased performance. I loved Control back in the day on the 3, or not 360, God, the Xbox One X. And I really wanted to play it again because I had just a, a blast with it. And so it's definitely one of those games that I recommend to a lot of people. And I'm not going to say that there hasn't been some controversies with the um, upgradingness of the next-gen consoles in this game. But either way, this is a plus game, so it was quote-unquote free. But I really wanted to... Yeah, no, 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 we want ray tracing on. <laughs> Definitely want that on. Subtitles, yeah, we look good. And we're also going to be playing the side stories, uh, the DLC content in this as well. If you want to compare this, te warning. definitely take a look at the um, this is gonna One X version that I have on the usual. channel. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. You could already tell in the reflections. Holy it's crap. Like we live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it, and we think that's the whole world. The room... ...and the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie... Ugh, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's... ...different. For each of us, it can be beautiful. Oh, <laughs> look at the reflections in his glasses, even. We are all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We are lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Oh my god, it already, the reflections, baby! Hello? Anyone here? That's oh, so cool looking already. Again, I really love this game back on the Xbox One X. And I think it was about... It was near the middle to top of my top games of the year when it came out, so I'm really, really pumped to play it again. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. And I really like Jessie as an actress. Uh, she does a really good job in this game, I feel like. The controller itself, the DualSense controller, is... I'm feeling her walking right now. Like a dump, 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 dump. Every step she takes. For a moment, she reached out her arm like she was going to use a power. <laughs> Just a split second. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. Glass is so clean, I've run into it I'm like a bird. 
Pistachios? Mmm. I was actually just wanting some pistachios. Frit. What is that? Protein bars? Protein, yeah. Fiber. Fibers. <laughs> Pretzels. Crackers. Oh, God. Oh, my God. He's had a heart attack as I've seen this <laughs> fire extinguisher. <laughs> I don't know why it gave me a heart attack already. <laughs> but it did. Hello? Nothing in here to grab. Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You'll work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they do. you are no element. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you are. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. No I face. like how he can he, he, Yeah, we're friendly face in my book. Better than no face at all. Gosh, this game already looks so pretty. I'm excited to get into it. And the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? <laughs> Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. <sighs> it's popping off. God, look at that reflection in her eyes. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now. The service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
No, 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 no. Give me that gun. gun. Okay. Now I have a gun. <laughs> now I have a gun. The controller triggers are very strange because they're giving you some uh, tension to them. That is really weird. effects are looking just the sweetest. Oh, dude, I love the destruction. Congratulations! Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the Bureau safe. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? <laughs> I was like, nope! We have some new positions open up here at the Federal Bureau of Control. Imagine that. <laughs> I'm just going to be busting stuff here for a moment. Just because of how cool it is. <laughs> the hotline. Secure line of communication. And I'm 
making shots all around me. Woo! The, the adaptive trigger thing is super strange. I'm trying to decide if I like it or not. Okay, who just shot at me? I, I, I've seen the bullet. Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Okay. Two, Carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. You're welcome. Thank you. This is the fun room. God, I love tearing up the floor. Look at that. It just looks so cool. your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. You. Oh no! Wow! As I just seen those grenades on the ground, I'm like, oh, I gotta move. <laughs> Again. Sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our <laughs> enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. It's a small world. Ugh, we gotta destroy it. Oh, I never noticed that wisping effect up there. That's what you were doing. I was like, I'm just gonna stand over there? What are we doing? You were waiting. Enemy. 
you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit. You're the new director. <laughs> We're coming out. Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss <laughs> that works. Yeah, we'll call it the that. Building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss, like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just... She looks kind of strange with the... Uh, Trench is dead. RTX en Shot. enabled there. The ray tracing. Uh. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. <laughs> I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. She does. It, she's almost got like a, a shadowy outline on herself. Then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Whew. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to pause it there, attempt to push out the hiss in the next episode, and continue our journey. So, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you can, give the video a like. It does help me out quite a bit. Also, check out the channel because I have tons of videos going on over there. And until next time, you guys, stay frosty.